we talk a lot about what the future of motoring is going to look like, and right now, it looks like this. This is the brand new, first ever ground up electric vehicle from Mercedes Benz, the Mercedes AMG EQS 53. What is it, and how does it all work? Well, let's take a look. The Mercedes AMG EQS 53 not only makes its mark as the first ground up electric vehicle in the Mercedes Benz stable, but also the first ever for the brand's AMG performance arm. Priced from $328,400 before options and on road costs, the EQS 53 features a pair of electric motors, one at the front and one at the rear, which output 484 kilowatts and 900 newton meters. Naturally, you can upgrade this with the Dynamic Plus package for 560 kilowatts and a staggering 1,020 newton meters of torque. In this configuration, the EQS 53 is good for a 0 to 100 km an hour sprint of just 3.4 seconds. Well, as the name would suggest, the EQS is an S-sized large sedan. Being an EV with no engine up the front means that the wheels can be stretched basically to the extremities of the car, which gives it an enormous wheelbase. It's longer than a regular S-Class and about the same as a long wheelbase S-Class. Uh, now up the back, if I get that correctly, it is a liftback design. So you've got, again, an enormous 580 litre boot here, which makes this a practical touring car and arguably family car. But being an AMG, it makes it, well, a sporty family car or a sporty touring car. Let's take a look in the back seats. Well, back here, I have to say it's nice, but it's not as s -y as an S-Class. The level of luxury and opulence that you do get in the flagship Mercedes isn't quite here, but you do get plenty of room. You do get the cool uh, down pillows. There's an armrest with cup holders and a phone holder. There are quad zone climate control uh, elements here, but you can't adjust the seat, you can't recline. You can get a rear seat entertainment function if you do spend the option, but you don't have any control back here uh, of even your own sunroof or anything else, although there are reading lamps. So it is a little bit of a compromise from where the, uh, the S-Class has positioned itself as the luxury leader. That said, if you are using the EQS as a family car on long trips, and I've spent a bit of time back here already today, it is really comfortable. You can sort of scooch down, relax into it. Uh, the light that comes from the sunroof, actually really, really nice. So passenger-wise, it's a big tick, but this is not why we're looking at this car. Let's jump up front and have a look at some of the amazing technology that has found its way onto this, a production car. Well, taking pride of place up the front of the EQS, because you can't miss this thing, is the enormous 56-inch hyperscreen. So yes, the entire dashboard is a single screen. Well, it's actually three screens under the same single piece of glass. On the far left, you've got a passenger display, which only activates when there's someone sitting in this seat. And it allows the passenger to uh, adjust the navigation, the music, they can look at some of the data feedback of the car. It's actually quite a, uh, an entertaining thing to use while on the move. In the center is obviously your home screen. Now this is where all of the MBUX menus and things are located. You've got navigation on here, obviously now. You can go through, you can set up and look at uh, your music, your telephony, you can run the massage seats, you can look at your uh, cool AMG performance graphs that show you what's happening at the front and the rear of the car. And actually, as a new driver of this car, it's really, really interesting to watch this as you begin to learn when it's using the rear motor, when it's using the front motor, and how it's recouping that energy uh, under sort of gliding and braking. Other sections in here, and honestly, how long have you got that we could go through this? You've got your voice control, you've got your Mercedes Me uh, telemetry integration. It basically is a, an iPad within the car that controls everything to do with the car. We will get one of these in uh, for a longer period of time and spend a bit more time exploring all of the functions of the new uh, MBUX function of the hyperscreen. But suffice to say, it is pretty impressive. It is, is a pretty cool thing to look at and it does all work in, in really neat concert. The final screen up here in front of the driver, well actually the second final screen, this one, as the instrument display, is familiar to what we've seen in a lot of the recent Mercedes-Benz lineup. It's a fully digital, uh, fully configurable display. You've got three or four different uh, designs that you can apply to it. You can go through and change different menu settings. You can look at different data points. So it's all about you, the driver, and how you want to see things. There's also a head-up display, which can be optioned with the, the larger professional head-up display. And if you are watching this thinking, maybe I want to buy an EQS, 
tick that box. That is probably one of the most amazing things that you'll see in this car because the driver assist technology, as you're using that, it projects what's basically Iron Man's helmet out onto the road in front of you in a full augmented reality uh, representation of your driver assist. And you will see a green box appear under the car that you're trailing when on cruise control. You'll see uh, boxes appear on the road to show your distance marking when you're adjusting the gap for the car in front. So it's ironic that it's one of the most impressive pieces of technology and we can't show you because of the way the head up works, but it is a, a very cool thing and definitely something to have a look at if you are taking one of these for a test drive. Now, speaking of which, that's what we should do now because on the move, there are a few things to explain about why this is not only an impressive Mercedes-Benz, but why it works as an AMG. And it's kind of weird because we're so used to talking about AMGs in terms of uh, turbocharged and V8 and, and high performance petrol engines to have an entirely ground up electric car uh, be a proper AMG and feel like it's worthy of the name is actually a bit of a surprise. Let's hit the road. Well, look, first things first, AMG, AMG 53, all electric, two motors, big power. You want to know if this thing is fast. And the answer is, yes, it is. Oh. So, <laughs> this thing will do 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds with the AMG Dynamic Pack or 3.8 seconds as a regular car. It may not be the fastest thing out there, but it really is ridiculously quick on a backcountry road because that performance is there as you need it. And you can probably hear that the car is actually making noises of a car. And you've got an AMG dynamic sound program in this thing where you can actually change it from being silent. I'm gonna go back to a comfort setting so that the noise goes off but you can change it from being silent to a uh, the two settings up to a powerful noise. And when the, well, I wanna say tachometer, but when it's energy use-ometer uh, gets around to sort of 90 or 100%, it starts to actually sound like a, a sports car. It's a little bit silly, but it, it, it sort of works. And it basically shows you, like so many other things in the EQS, just how well they will translate down to a smaller car. And I think that's what we like the most about this car and what we sort of want to learn the most about this car is that in true S-Class fashion, this is the technology leader. This is Mercedes-Benz putting a stake in the ground and saying, this is what we can do with a clean sheet of paper. And the EQS in AMG or even in regular Mercedes-Benz form will start to have technology that filter down. So we will see hyper screens on uh, more regular models. We will see some of this performance uh, and some of the technology filter down through the range for, I guess, everyone to enjoy. In terms of driving and touring comfort, you've got air suspension on this thing. It's handled the roads that we've been on uh, today really well. But it does also have on top of uh, its, its air ride, and I'm just gonna demonstrate it here, four wheel steering that can operate at up to nine degrees of uh, both counter and parallel steering. And it's pretty amazing. Like we just did a U-turn on a, basically a single lane country road, like it was doing, uh, well, like we had a, a four lane highway to turn around in. So it makes the car very nimble. It's very visible to see when you see the car's wheels turn uh, on the road as well. So it's not a, a subtle movement, but it's all about that agility and stability. So at higher speeds, the car feels really, really comfortable, even over, uh, over bumps. Performance as you need it, even in comfort modes, it responds well, uh, but more importantly, it tours well. And I think this is a limousine. Yes, you can stick it at some windy roads and have a bit of a fun, but that's not really why you want to buy it. You want quiet, uh, refined comfort day in, day out, with a little bit of performance back there if you need. And on a tour, you can barely hear anything if you've got a really nice road surface. The car is quiet, particularly if you turn off the silly noises. Uh, it, it is very comfortable and you can see why this format of a, uh, a big battery, low slung motor at each end is the way of the future. What's interesting too is when driving, you can bring the displays up here on the screen and actually see which of the motors is delivering power. And we've seen that under load, so as you accelerate even gently away from uh, a standstill, the rear motor is working. But then when you're at a, a cruise, even now just sort of uh, pottering along on this road, 
the drive is coming from the front motor. Uh, if you get off the throttle for whatever reason, the recuperation system will actually start to, uh, to work. You can adjust the, I guess, harshness of that recuperation system so that you can reclaim as much energy as you want. And there's even an intelligent recuperation system that will look at the car in front and it will use the radar to understand that, oh, there's a vehicle there, I'm gonna need to slow down so I can recoup more energy doing that. And the car starts to think a lot more for you. So while we've only had a relatively short drive of the EQS 53 today, it, it has been an impressive one. And look, for the price you are paying for a lot of car here, you are getting a lot of car, and this is out of the, uh, the reach of, of many, many people. But for a, uh, I guess, an impressive starting point for what we can see Mercedes-Benz do as the range starts to expand into the EQE and the EQE SUV, that one will be a bit of a game changer, and then ideally down into, into more compact models, this is the way things are going because not only is it uh, an efficient zero emission car, tick, it is using the technology of the electric drive to benefit you, the driver, and I think that's key. The bespoke AMG software that has gone into this car, the bespoke AMG tuning to allow an electric platform which has, I guess, infinite programmability to perform in the way that I guess feels more uh, worthy of the AMG names than just simply uh, a, an electrified version of an existing Mercedes is testament to the work that's being done both by Mercedes-Benz and AMG to create the future of performance motoring. So first impressions of the first ever ground up Mercedes-Benz electric vehicle, and especially the one in AMG guys, gotta say it's pretty impressive. And I think this as a window to what is coming next. Like I said earlier, we've always seen things that happen on the S-Class first and finish their way down. And if that's gonna be the same for the EQ sub-brand, if the EQS is what Mercedes-Benz can do now, I can't wait until we see what we get on the EQE, EQE SUV, and subsequent models. Now, if you are shopping for this, it is really cool. Do get on the wait list for it because I imagine supply will be limited. You've got a solid range, you've got solid performance, you've got day-to-day -day usability, and you've got that amazing technology uh, within this car, which make it stand out above the crowd for those reasons alone. To find out even more about the Mercedes AMG EQS 53 4Matic Plus, very long name, you can read the full review of this car at drive.com.au. Now we will be getting an EQS in for a bit more of a detailed look, so do stay tuned as we go into some of the technology and the capabilities of this car in more detail in the coming months. Of course, if you like this video, hit like and hit subscribe so you stay up to date with all of our latest videos and stay tuned to see everything that's Mercedes-Benz, electric, petrol and diesel here at Drive on YouTube.